Hey, what's up? This is here from MarketingSable.com. In the previous post, uh, we looked at how to set up uh, Kotlin with Android and how to make it uh, enabled by default on each new project you create. Now I'm gonna talk about some some more top things that I like about Kotlin. It's a Kotlin activity. The first thing is the uh, string interpolation is just just the one that we need. Let's say we have we have a user. And you can even uh, call functions in here. Yeah. For logging is exactly what you need. Right, the second one is assigning variables with if else statements. Example, let's say we have uh, it's a Java code. So we have a, so we have a parking price and we calculate it uh, using uh, depending on the day of the week. So we have this if and else statement. And uh, you need to declare it before you calculate, right? You need to write this uh, one line of code uh, and then you after you calculate the value you use it you can use a ternary operator if there is just two cases if there is just if else but if there is two or more three or more then you need those blocks in kotlin you can you can just assign a value in here just at the declaration place no matter how many if statements we got and then just use it one more thing is the uh, extension functions if you if using data binding custom adapters for creating custom attributes which is uh, like extending views and creating custom behavior for those attributes without the overhead of ex actually extending views you just create a static method with the attribute in the annotation and uh, it handles the attributes and extending functions is this something like that so for example we have a class from some library which we cannot extend or we don't want to extend it but we want to add uh, a new functionality for it right what you can do with java is uh, just create a function which takes this class as an argument so for example we have a geolocation Plus from GeoFire library, and we want to extend it uh, to calculate the distance. What we c can do with Java is just uh, create this function, accept into objects, and you pass me and the, the other location. Here you make your calculations and return a value. In Kotlin, that's what you can do. You can declare a function starting with this class that you want to add it to and uh, that's what we have now that's our function extended extending the geolocation class which it doesn't have one One more thing, 
if uh, there is just one argument in your custom function you can add this modifier which will allow you to remove the dot and uh, parenthesis like this right and the final one is uh, checking for if null and handling it let's say we have a list and we need to return its uh, size in Java what you can do is uh, is use this ternary operator first you check if it's null then return zero otherwise you return the size but in Kotlin it's even simpler so it's a nullable string uh, it's so it's a nullable list of strings and by using this uh, question mark you're not gonna get a null pointer exception if the list is null but the result is uh, gonna be null still that's why you add this uh, question column to handle the null state and that's it if it's not null it's gonna return the size if it's null it's gonna return zero and that's it for today thanks for watching